Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's 10 to 14 day video update. We're going to have a look at the weather for the next 10 to 14 days. For this video, day 10 will take us to the 22nd of December and we'll be able to extend out beyond that with the extended GFS at ECM ensembles. We're running to around the weeks. We'll have a look at CFSB2 for the next four weeks at the end of the video and I shall get on that for you in a moment. Just say with Reese Jeremy Friday, I'm hoping to be live with channel members tonight about half ten. So uh, I had a migraine on Wednesday night, so feeling a little bit, uh, uh, well, I had a headache yesterday and I didn't like pain, but today, not bad, just a bit uh, cotton war headed and feeling a bit hungover on that. Um, but anyway, uh, I've got to be shift at Watford Gap and then I'll see how I feel when I get home. But all being well, we will have a live stream. Probably won't be particularly giddy, but nevertheless, we'll still check in and uh, see what the pub run is showing. So, that coming up a little bit later on. Please like, share, subscribe, and sure to everyone for doing that. Right, let's crack on. I'm going to get this video done and then I uh, get to second job. So, this is the latest wind flow map from EarthandNorthSchool.net showing that low pressure dominates to the west and northwest of Scotland Island. And we're still bringing the wind from off the Atlantic. So the onslaught and the well, <laughs> low pressure dominated pattern goes on. Centering the temperature uh, is currently sitting at 8.1, really mild, 3.6 degrees above 61 to 99 average. That is provisional to uh, yesterday to the 11th of December. These are the GFS upper temperature precipitation ensembles the next couple of weeks. Looking at London again today, the red line is a 30-year upper air temperature as for London. So off above average with the upper air temperature for next week. Bit of a cool down as we head towards Christmas, though not too cold. No particular evidence there of things turning especially cold and precipitation wise well a lot of dry weather to come over the next few days but turning uh, wetter again as we uh, move in towards the uh, into next week and up towards Christmas period overlooking rather mixed but perhaps not as wet as you might have expected given the overall weather pattern temperature anomalies for the uh, next five days of 17th December uh, significantly above average uh, precipitation anomalies seven days 19th 19th of December, wetter than average in the north and west, drier than average in the south and the east. Right, let's go through the chart data. Then. This is how the UK Met Euro run is looking at midnight on Monday. Low pressure coming in from off the Atlantic, bringing in unsettled conditions, and we keep the low pressure coming through the course of uh, next week. A little bit of a race trying to get going there around the middle part of the week, back quickly is flattened off, pushed away though by all these areas, well two areas of low pressure, I say all, but it's two areas of low one around ice and one further southwards uh, heading in from off the Atlantic, too much energy in the Atlantic there to allow that ridge to come to merge, this is how ICOM is looking, so uh, again, low pressure dominates the weather, bringing a lot of unsettled conditions in through the course of next week, that looks thoroughly wet winding around next Thursday and towards next Friday. Well, check that out. That is unsettled as it comes. Atlantic onslaught continues there with deep low pressure bringing lots of wet windy weather. But at least it will be mild. This is how the uh, GFS midnight run is uh, shaping up. So again, we've got low pressure heading in from off the Atlantic. It's bringing a lot of wet windy weather in with it as well. So uh, we head up towards day 10. The southwesterly is continuing and uh, the battering goes on. That might be a name storm there. That was particularly story for northern western parts of Scotland. And on and on it goes. Further low pressure driving in as we approach Christmas, beyond Christmas, go through Christmas, beyond Christmas, when, <laughs> whatever you're talking about, getting towards the 8th of December there. And, well, besides a bit of high pressure building just to the east of the country, possibly trying to break us out of that unsettled Atlantic onslaught. And the GFS 6 then, in comparison, again, low pressure bringing loads of wet and windy weather in from off the Atlantic, looking rather stormy in about a week's time. Oh, it's trying to build to the south and the east, but not really successfully doing so. So that's Christmas Eve, looking wet and windy then for Christmas Eve. Bit of high pressure again, trying to get going. Uh, just after Christmas, that's Boxing Day. So that possibly breaks us out of the unsettled weather. And is there a hint that the high pressure is trying to get towards Scandinavia there after Christmas? Maybe. It's probably be enough to bring some frost and fog anyway. Um, got to, uh, you know, bring those uh, winds around properly to the east for it to turn genuinely cold. But there is a bit of a hint there of uh, some higher pressure towards Scandinavia. 
Uh, okay, so let's have a look at the J um, the KMA, I should say. So uh, again, we've got low pressure dominating the weather, bringing lots of unsettled conditions in from off the Atlantic through the course of next week. Further wet and windy weather to come. That's how we look as we approach Christmas. High pressure building to the south, which is very mild with that, but drier in the south, still unsettled in the north. That gets us to Christmas Eve. That pressure beginning to rise a little bit more so that will probably just about be enough to bring some uh, overnight frost and fog especially so uh, down to the south but overall it's a mild breeze because it's built up from the south you see doesn't quite call for northern and northeastern parts of europe though well, if you enjoyed the video, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much everyone for doing that. Why not drop a comment? Let us know what you think about this and all of our videos and content. And don't forget to tell your friends about Gals Web. It's Gap to subscribe to you. Thank you so much everyone for doing that. We need about around 45 subscribers to get to 28k. Could get a sub. That'd be awesome. Thank you so much. And if you enjoyed the content on the channel this year, I know it's not been the greatest year for Gals Web, but if you've enjoyed the content that we have, I have managed to produce, albeit at a lower rate compared to normal, we used to. I'm so sorry about that. But uh, if you have enjoyed Bob donating, please consider giving a donation. So uh, you can uh, find our PayPal page in the uh, description. First thing you see in the description with this video, so go to our PayPal page, sign into PayPal account, donate whatever you'd like to, gals, whether it's. We'll give you a shout out in the vids and say Happy Christmas to you. Maybe you want to message somebody else. Maybe you want a Christmas. Uh, Christmas, uh, saying Christmas wishes to somebody else. Who knows what your message is? But uh, whatever it is, we're happy to fulfil that. And uh, again, all you need to do, come to our PayPal page, sign your PayPal account, and uh, you know, donate whatever you like. And thank you so much, everyone, uh, for doing that. Okay, GM. Again, we've got so high pressure south east, low pressure way to the north west of Bundy, bringing lots of unsettled conditions with it. And this low pressure dominated weather continues through the course of uh, next week as well. There is an attempt to build some ridging south through Mill Park next week. Doesn't really come to much. The onslaught, the battering uh, goes on. Check that out. That's next Friday. Gosh, looking very wet and windy then. And uh, up towards Christmas, well, what gets 22nd of December, day 10, just to get a bit of a hint of some higher pressure building towards uh, Scandinavia there uh, once more. So, mm, there is some evidence here that we might break up this unsettled pattern around Christmas. Whether it's a, we break it out to a cold pattern or just a dry and mild pattern remains to be seen. East um, rounding it all off, again, low pressure. It's dominating the weather through next week. will bring uh, lots of wet and windy conditions in with it. As we approach the Christmas period, well, high pressure uh, beginning to build. And quite interesting with the ECM, that high pressure is starting to head up towards Scandinavia there. That's the eve of Christmas Eve, starting to bit back the wind around to a not particularly cold but certainly chillier easterly so becoming drier and colder there as we uh, uh, approach Christmas get to Christmas really under that bridge it doesn't look like the high pressure will be sustained though so probably enough to bring some frost and fog for, uh, for Christmas but the high pressure is quickly starting to slip southwards again it's really too much energy still in the Atlantic and not sending that jet stream far in the south. However, we are breaking out of the very unsettled conditions there for Christmas, turning drier and probably turning a bit colder as well with some frost and some fog likely. This is a precipitation forecast based on the ECM run for Twitter.com. Plenty of rain to come over the uh, next few days. Days, bouts of rain coming and going. And that's how we look as we get to day 10, 22nd December, just starting to dry out a little bit then. These are the options on the table within the ECM Ensemble Day 4, Day 10. Which I say it many times gets us to the 22nd of December. 15 members of the ECM Ensembles with high pressure to the north, low pressure to the south. That brings the wind in from an easterly direction. We've got 13 with high pressure up towards Scandinavia, brings the wind in from the east. So that's going to be unsettled, still wet in the south. This is going to be drier, of course and possibly a bit cooler as well. 13, low pressure slipping southwards, high pressure building to the north. That's starting to turn drier and cooler. And 10 going in a similar direction just here, low pressure to the south and starting to back wind around to more of an easterly. So all the options look like they're raising heights there before Christmas. And then in two weeks' time, 
Well, these are the options that we've got, and certainly signs of a pattern change, Ben. Uh, it's yet 22nd of December, 26 members of the ECM ensembles with high pressure to the north. These brings the wind in to the east, so drier and cooler or colder. 13th, high pressure over the top of the country, drier, probably frost and fog. And 12th, with high pressure, perhaps a bit more towards Greenland and Iceland. That's probably the coldest option, as it would bring the wind in more from the northeast with the air tending to be originated from uh, northern Scandinavia and whatnot, but only 12 going as far as that. CFSB2, and then we're done. These are 500 millibar high tonnage, breaking down into wheat pairs. The first wheat pair takes from the turn to the 18th of December next week with low pressure in from the Atlantic, looking uh, mild and wet still. Week 2 is going to be the uh, 19th to 25th of December, Christmas Day, low pressure again, just to the west and to the southwest of the country. Week 3 is going to be the 26th of December to the 1st of January, uh, low pressure out to west, heights building up towards Greenland and uh, week four rounds it all off. Well, if there is any colder weather there around Christmas, New Year, so it doesn't last that long. Low pressure's back to Iceland and winds are back in from the west again from the 2nd to the 8th of January. We'll see. Okay, we're done. If you enjoyed the video, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much, everyone, for doing that. Hopefully, you're going to be doing pub run live about half ten this evening, and uh, tomorrow we'll have more updates for you as well. Uh, for this one, that's all for now, and thanks for watching.